Welcome to Life Matters. Hey. We could not wait to bring this show to you. I'm Julie Plush, along with my co-host Stephanie Austin and Leela Jackson. Leela is back with us. <laughs> she comes and goes, and she comes in and makes some appearances with us, and we're so glad she's back with us. But this is one of our favorite shows. We've been talking about this for a few months now. Right. And we want you to meet our girlfriends yes. right before you. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I think if some of the people who may have seen our show on here before may have gotten a preview, Just a preview of our girlfriend, but today it's all about the girlfriend. All about the girlfriends. We went wig shopping about two, three months ago. Yep, three. And I said, we need to put this on film. Right. Yeah, it yes. was fun. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. We, we love our girlfriends because they do so much for us. Right. We do so much for them. They're yes. Exactly. They're for you. That's right. That's right. Especially on a rainy day. Exactly. On a rainy day, it's perfect. You can go out in the rain. Don't even worry about exactly. it. Exactly. That's right. right about and they don't get mad if you pick another girlfriend. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yes. No jealousy, no envy. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, ladies, what sparked you to start wearing wigs, your girlfriend? Well, I know for me, I my hair had pretty much always been kind of long and thick, and I kind of wanted to cut it, but then I was a little bit afraid to cut it, not knowing how it would look finally. So I said, you know what? Let me just go buy a short wig and see how I look with short hair before I go cutting my own hair. And that's what really sparked me wearing wigs, and that was probably about 17 or 18 years ago. And I've been wearing wigs ever since. Now, I will wear my own hair out sometimes. Sometimes I'll get it braided or just wear it out. But for the most part, these girlfriends have been lifesavers. I love them because I can switch up my style anytime I want to. And I don't have to mess with my own hair to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I started because I wanted to give my hair a break. Yeah. Well, I was breaking and stuff. And I just decided that I need to get the curls, the hot curls out of it and just mm -hmm. let my hair relax for a minute. So I decided to start wearing a wig. And plus, I was working out, too. Yeah. And if you right. have to hot curl your hair and style it and stuff and then try to get to work on time, it was just a hassle. Absolutely. And having a wig saves me so much oh, time. Yes. My, my prep time in the morning has cut in half. There what it is. That's more than half. Oh, my yes. goodness. It is great. Yeah. Uh, Put it on and go. go. Shake right. it out. Right. 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 You look good. Right. Right. You right. really never have a bad hair day. No, you never. Yeah. Your girlfriends will do what you want them to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I wanted to talk about mine and my story. And basically, I started quite early. Because yeah. I don't know, why did I start wearing wigs in the first place? I started when I was in nursery school. No. Because my mother, I was in nursery school in a baller, baller, ballerina. I was a ballerina in this little play, ballet. And I, she had a little... Phony tail on my head. Yes, I love tail. wearing that. Yeah. I call it a phony tail. Right. It's a phony tail. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I so think that, was, that exactly. And I think it just got in yeah. me, you know. Yeah. And so a little later on, I would wear the weave, uh -huh. you know. And I always wanted my hair to be long and yeah. thick, and it was really never long and thick. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to to do different things with my hair. So then all of a sudden, I'm like wigs. And back then, I like you, Stephanie, it was about 18, 17, 18 years ago. Uh -huh. But for me, I've been wearing them constantly for that long. I have had braids, you know, a couple of times. Right. One time I may have had a weave here and there, but the, most time, every day, all day, mm -hmm. it would be my, my, my girlfriend. Okay. And I just love it for the same reason. It's an accessory to me. Mm -hmm. I enjoy mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. it. I can change up because I was like, oh, well, I want long now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want short now. Yes. I want to do something different. I want to go light. I want to go dark. Mm -hmm. It's an accessory. Whatever I'm feeling like, we talked about mood. That's right. Whatever my mood is, whatever the persona I want to portray that day, particularly in the workplace, mm -hmm. then I know that I can put that wig on if I just want to have fun. Mm -hmm. I can put another wig on and, and be the fun girl. Uh -huh. So it's a good time. It's a good it time. It really is. I think, too, when I read Beverly Johnson's book, 
to a god of life and of health and beauty or something like that. She was talking about wigs. And I read this book years ago, and she was talking about wigs and how wigs give you a boon. Because she was a model, you know, and so her hair under all those lights and all the things they would have to do with your hair. She started talking about how just wearing wigs just helped her hair, gave it a, uh, a break. I said, you know, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. But I didn't quite start, you know, wearing it right then and there. But then when I did start, it's like I got hooked. It's like I got hooked on yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooked on wigs. Because every time you go into the store, it's like angels are singing. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, are you you were talking about Beverly Johnson. She's a big one. Yes. But now oh, Vivica. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. That's why I yes. with Vivica. Yeah. But I am like plain Jane. I found the one that I like. And I have, I have stayed. This is maybe number three or four of the same one. Oh. I don't like to change it up because I want people to know who I am. So I don't know, know who you are. Like. I don't know. But I feel, you know, when I go don't to work. You, don't you want to be like Beyonce and be Sasha yeah. Fierce, Lila? You know? You know? Yeah. Yeah. See, this is my sassy girl here. Yeah. This is my sassy yeah. girl. Yeah. 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 Sassy, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I've gotten this one. I kind of like it. People yeah. think it's my hair sometimes, okay. so I don't know. Well, how do, how do you all take care of your girlfriends? A lot of people just don't know. They buy them, and they have no idea how to care for them. Yeah, you got to So what do you all do? Oh, me, it's very simple. I mean, I do buy wig spray, so I can make sure it keeps a nice little gloss and yeah, sheen so they don't start look, yeah, do look dull. You know, they can start to look dull after a while because they pick up a lot of things, you know, dust or whatever. But basically, to keep them clean, I just put some uh, shampoo and first I start off with like warm water in the bowl and then once I get the, the lathering, the, the water is fully lathered, then I will switch it all to cold yeah. because you should wash these in cold water. No. And, and it only takes a few minutes to swish them around and you can see the dirt come yes, out. Yes, you can. Shake it out, rinse it off, shake it out and hang it up. Exactly. And they dry so anything. quickly. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to. They dry very fast. Especially right. for synthetic. And yes. we're yeah. all talking synthetic yeah, hair today. Is, yeah. right. Right. You do have the human hair and I thought about human hair a couple of times. Why? Like, What's the point? Exactly. I know why. Why would I yeah. feel like for human yeah. hair? I got my own human hair. Yeah. Yeah. I was human and it was Really? Hard. I didn't know. Yeah. You don't know what you don't know. So right. my first one was human. It was mm -hmm. like having my own hair. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Then I went to this. Now it is. There you go. Synthetic is the way to go. Because nobody right. has a curl that's right. it. Right, exactly. Now, we're talking about not having it in cold water, but you really shouldn't have it in hot water either. That's right. You shouldn't. Right. Yeah. Heat will do it just like your own hair. And I like with this. I can put heat to this if I wanted it longer or fuller. That's what's so cool about it. I can put just a little a blow dryer and okay. just warm it up a little bit and it'll loosen it's the curl. Okay. Uh -huh. If you put too much, it'll completely straighten and flatten wow. the curl. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So you can use a blow dryer, but if, if it has a curl, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh -huh. But if it's something like this, even the style, because it still has a bump to it, right. you might not want to put a lot of heat to uh -huh. it either, uh -huh. you know, because it, it will change. Uh -huh. So that's a good thing. If you want it to change, it's like, gosh, I got this wig, but it's yeah. not quite what I wanted. Then you can change it. There's so many different things you can do. And you can actually use the, uh, not a hot curler, not a hot curler. Yeah, no, no. no. It'll melt it almost. Yes. 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 With a blow dry, just to put a little heat and it'll okay. just loosen the curl because this was short. Mm -hmm. That's another thing about wigs. You can buy the same style and each time it'll yes, look slightly true. different. Oh, you're right about it that. It will be different. Yes. And so this one was shorter. Mm -hmm. It looked shorter. The curl was tighter mm -hmm. than uh, the other styles that I wore like this. Mm -hmm. So I said, I like the fuller, longer style. Mm -hmm. So I got the blow dry and I just loosened the curl. Mm -hmm. And it pulled out. And, but if I did it too long, yeah, which I did that once too. Straight hair. And it was just straight. It was straight like hair. a noodle. I'm like, oh Lord. Yes, so yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a lot of different things you can mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Now, not only the sprays, but you can color. I bought girlfriends that were not the right color. Mm -hmm. When I put them on, it's like, uh, I don't think so. I really wanted something lighter. So I would get some sort of color spray. You can spray the color on. Okay. I, I can't say I recommend you putting on some uh, actual permanent hair color. I tried that once. How did that it work? doesn't work as well. Yeah. Maybe on human hair. Yeah. But on synthetic hair doesn't work as yeah, well. Yeah, because it's know. not it's not as porous as, mm. as human hair. Now, what do you what do you all what do you all think about? What do you consider when you're choosing your wig? Just how I want to look. Like we're talking about mood. See, when I walk into the beauty supply store, all the wigs, it's like I hear them <laughs> calling me. It's like, pick me, step me. <laughs> <laughs> And then I look up and it's like, ooh, you look good. It's like, ooh, she looks good. So 
So usually I'm walking back to the place where the area where you try them on. I have about three or four of them. You know, yeah. three or four girlfriends in my say, Let's try them on because to be honest, a lot of times these wigs, some of them look so great on the heads, but when you get them on my head, it's like, oh no, yeah. I gotta put right. you back. You yeah. so, must try them on. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And so what about you? What do you consider? What are you looking for? I want to just look nice and professional because I spend a lot of time at work, so I have to have mm -hmm. something that frames my face. And really, because most of the people don't really know me, right. I want them to think it's my natural hair. Right. Yeah, okay. so yeah, yeah okay. that's pretty much, I, much what I look for. And yeah. see, a lot of people do think it's my natural hair. Mm -hmm. Like, we all have yeah, those girlfriends right. right now, in case you didn't that already know that. Yeah, you couldn't tell, could yeah, you? Yeah, you right. couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know. Because first of all, a little trick, all wigs aren't the same, but the, depending on the style, like the style that you two have when the bang comes down, like one like this, I pull my own hair out, blend it in with the wig, and you wouldn't know it. Yeah. And most people don't know that. Right, right. So that's a trick that I do. You don't have to, mm -hmm. but it just looks more natural. And a lot yes. of people will look and, oh, I thought that was your hair. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's it's really amazing what mm -hmm. you can do. The little mm -hmm. tricks you can, you know, you can mm -hmm. do. I can cut it. You can actually go to the beauty I've supply store and cut it. You've yeah. cut it too. I've actually gone to the hair salon and gotten it cut. Oh, you went to the oh, hair yeah. salon. You go, girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Up so it worked for me. Okay, yeah. okay, good. Because I actually cut it myself. Oh. A lot of times the bang is too long. Yeah. It's all in your face and mm -hmm. my eyes, I cannot stand it. Yeah. And I've cut it. It doesn't quite look as good, but you can do it or have the lady who was at the beauty supply store do it for That's you. That's what I do. For you. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. have her do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you all think about in terms of the color? What I mean, as I've gotten older, I'm going lighter. A little bit lighter, yeah. a lot more gold hues and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Now, what? How why did you choose that color? You know, I didn't have a color in my mind when I went in. I just, I got so many compliments when I was sitting in the seat. I was like, okay, I can work this. I yeah, this. yeah, that's. What I love the blend. I know. So, and then I bought, I, I bought a blonde wig, and it was just. You know, too out there for me. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. so uh -huh. yeah, I just kind of stay with the same colors. Yeah, well, see, I, it has to compliment my face. That's yes. my face has go gotten for. rounder over the last few years. What? So, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about that in the next segment because I don't think I look as good in a wig your style. You would very short. I tried it and yeah. it really doesn't. It doesn't fit me as well okay. because I'm I'm bigger and okay. my face is bigger. Yeah, okay. I want if I a narrow face like yours with that style. It's a perfect fit. It's okay. compliment. Okay. But with me, no. But I did buy one, and you're going to see me wear it in the second oh, segment. Yeah. yeah. We have some more girlfriends to show you. Oh, we yeah. have a yeah. lot. Because mm -hmm. seven on counting, I have about seven. You're just a wig baby. Three. It's okay. Yeah. No, I, I have about, yes, yeah, seven now, and I've probably thrown away about ten, yeah. you know, over the years. Yeah. So. I think I'm throwing Yeah, sometimes away. I don't wear them again. Yeah. 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 Sometimes once I, once I buy them, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And wear them. Yeah. yeah, I don't wear them again. But now these, like her, I've worn her many times, but I, I'll probably keep her for a okay, while. She's okay. I'll yeah. keep her for, thank you. I know she is. <laughs> but I'm just looking at the the colors, and they're all kind of like an auburn, light brown. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to see, I'm not going to wear black, because I know black yeah. doesn't look I'm good on me. That was yeah. probably one of my worst wigs. Yes. I remember one of, in my earlier years of wearing wigs, I bought one that was almost black, and I'm... I'm too fair skinned for that, and it just washed right. me out. Yeah. So I have to have something that blends that's gonna bring my color out. Exactly. Those undertones in your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have to wear I have to wear gold or, or maybe go to the blonde. But mm -hmm. you will see in the next segment we're gonna all transform before your eyes. You'll yes. see the girlfriends on and how we look and so how we can transform and look totally different. We'll see in the next segment. Bye. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. I'm George Foreman. There is a place where ordinary people do extraordinary things every day. That place is the American Red Cross. When you help the American Red Cross, you help America. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or visit redcross.org to learn more. Welcome back to the... We're, We're totally transformed. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about...
about our girlfriends, our wigs, and we've all changed into different styles. And so I just want you all to talk, first of all, before we get into the style that you have on, talk about what are you doing with your own hair underneath the wig and how you're caring for it. Well, I'm pretty simple. I mean, I, I wash it, condition it, and I usually try to put some type of moisturizer on it every day sometimes i may miss those days mm -hmm. and of course as time is going on has gone on i'm getting a little grayer the little grays are peeking out so you know even though you have on your girlfriends is covering up most of your hair you gotta be careful with those windy days because those windy days it starts to blow back all of your your hair right. and then you can see <laughs> the little you know little grays there so there's a neat little there's some neat little products you can get when you can kind of just blend it in with a brush. Look like a mascara brush. brush yeah. And you can blend in different highlights and colors so it'll blend in with the color of your wig. Yeah. So basically, that's what I do with my hair under these wigs. Mm -hmm. I, it's in a braid right now. I do have my own hair. I want you all to know but that. But you're not permanent. You, you're just wearing a ponytail and you're, and you're not permanent. Right. I'm not, me personally, I decided to go perm free, chemical free. It's been over five years. I did it in 2005, November 2005. So I've been perm free for 2000. For over five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. What about you? you know well, how you do? well, like I said earlier, my hair was breaking, so I decided to not relax my hair, and I have my hair braided. My hair is actually braided in a really nice, neat style. And I saw it. It is yeah, pretty. It's yeah. really pretty. And I do that because when I'm at home with my husband, I don't always have my wig on. So I want my hair to look nice. And I go to the gym, so I can't let my hair be all over my head. You right, know? Right, so right, I right. my hair braided back and just nice braided back. And my, yeah. my wig fits really nice on my head. Mm -hmm. So I like it like that. Mm -hmm. And then I used to braid spray for my hair and I mm -hmm. wash mm -hmm. my braids so my hair is, you know, nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. Now, now I, I, I had the little Oh yeah, wig <laughs> cap. Wig cap. I'll yeah, I had the wig cap. cap. And yeah. when you try on wigs in the store, you have to have all the wigs. Yeah. Sometimes right. they actually make you buy it there yes. and not yeah. bring one in. Yes. Yeah. And it's usually anywhere from $1. 50 cents to a dollar. Most yeah, cases a dollar. Yeah. Right. And it's, it's worth it because yeah. you want to do that, you know. Right. You don't want anyone else's stuff in your head. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. And on their products. Right. You know, that you may or may not buy. Right. So I don't wear one unless I'm trying them on in the store. So with how I care for my hair, I just pull it all back in a little knot and put a uh, bobby pin on it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And it holds in place. My hair is completely to my head. It holds in place uh -huh. because this wig holds it on. Yes. Okay. And you know, and I do the same thing with, that Stephanie's talking about. Is I use a little color wand in the front if I wear a style that calls from my own yeah mm -hmm. yeah but you talked about a fear you had about these wigs well no well, you talked about <laughs> the same fear you have my fear is someone just bumping me or grabbing my hair on the metro <laughs> i mean that's why that's another reason why my hair is braided I so know. it becomes off oh, no. oh you're right and especially now that it's winter time with the hat oh. because see your girlfriend can come off with the hat oh, if you God. don't have a wig that has a comb. Now this oh. one I'm wearing now has comb attachments okay. in yes. the front and in the back. So that gives me a little more security. Oh, so good. it would be, you know, somebody would have to really work hard to pull this off. Oh, but with the good. ones that don't have little combs, right. it could easily come off. Yeah, it, it really could. could. Yeah. The trick is, I see I know a lot of tricks with these without mm -hmm. my girlfriends. What the trick is with the hat, you don't pull it off this way because right. more than likely the, the, the hair will come off. You pull it off this way from the okay. back to the front. Mm -hmm. And then it just, you know, okay. no problems, no moving, or very little anyway. Yeah, no, that's good, Julie. That's that's the way I take it off. But I'm worried about somebody else. Mine. 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 Yeah. yeah, but a wig cap is good to protect your own hair, but right. I, I just don't do it. They'll just see my hair all pulled back. Mm -hmm. I, I hate that that happens, but you know. <laughs> now, we all transformed. And talk about the girls that you have on now. Well, this one, I, we, you and the three of us went shopping recently. This is my most, no, this is not my most recent girlfriend. The one you first saw was my most recent, but she was next to the most recent. And I just, I like this one because it's simple, it's straight, it's plain if I want to go. This is the longest one I have. So when I want to go long, want to go long, then I'll put her on. And I like her. I like the color. Just like I said, she has the comb attachments. She's easy. So this is one of, she's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. well, this is my second to the first one, but it's just too much going on right here. <laughs> 
just, you know, I got a comb in and stuff. But I, I start out with this one, and this is human. And it's oh, too much yeah. work. It's pretty. Oh, that's human. Yeah, it's oh, human. Wow. It's very expensive, too. Yeah. Because I didn't know I was a novice. Okay. So I, that's why I moved to my short hair, where it's mm -hmm. easy and everything falls into place. Mm -hmm. Now, right. Synthetic is the way to go. Well, what right. do you call expensive? I mean, why? That was almost $100. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. expensive. expensive. Yeah. I'm cheap. Yeah, because this was like 30 I think, 20-something. Yeah, I, I've spent maybe anywhere from 19 to 71 yeah. And 71 was probably the best looking one. Yeah. I got the most compliments because yeah. it looks most natural. Mm -hmm. And it had the lace front. And we'll talk a little bit more about the lace mm -hmm. front. Mm -hmm. So it looks yeah. a lot more natural mm -hmm. in terms of my hairline and all that. But I couldn't I couldn't do the human I didn't hair. Know. Yeah, it was too much. Yeah. Now this now this is my favorite one. I, as it was on the head before in the first segment. This is my favorite one because I think it complements my face. And I love the, the, the variations in color and I just love the fullness of it. This is this one I've never worn. One of these days I'm gonna wear yes, her outside. This the band comes attached to the hair. Oh, okay. sure. So it's wonderful. These are braids and it and it has the multi colors and I love it. It looks so and pretty. it looks so natural. Yes, and on this on this head, it looks really different. On me, I look like a wild woman. A little bit like a wild woman. <laughs> oh, we want to see you in that. Get, that. I know yeah, get. when I wanna get wild, I'll That's wear this one. Right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, we're gonna come back in the next segment and show you some more. So and we'll talk about the intricacies underneath the hair and what you what you can really look for. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Dr. Donna Batts with the U.S. Public Health Service assigned to CDC. I am sure you're very interested in helping your family stay healthy during this time. There's something simple you can do that makes a big difference. Wash your hands. Wash your hands and wash them often with soap and water. If you don't have much water, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. When should you wash your hands? Wash them before you prepare or eat food or before caring for someone who is sick. Wash them after you go to the bathroom, or change a diaper, or clean up a child who has gone to the bathroom, or after caring for someone who is sick. Also wash them after handling uncooked foods, especially raw meat, chicken, or fish, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, after handling an animal or animal waste, or after handling garbage or cleaning up. Washing your hands is a simple thing, and it's the best way to prevent sickness. Thank you. Transformed once more. Again, we're, we're wearing other wigs that we have, except Mila's wearing one of mine yes. <laughs> that I did not think looked good on me, and I really didn't think looked good on her. But I actually like it on you. Really? Yeah, I really do. You know, this band is tight. <laughs> <laughs> it will not come off. That's a good thing. Yeah. No, that's but a good you know, I do kind of like the length. I do like the length. I think it looks good I, on I you. Yeah. I'm trying to get something with some length. And I the like color it. looks yeah. good. Yeah. And I like the color. Mm -hmm. See? This band thing is just too tight. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's amazing how That's the one good thing. You just did something like that. You could probably yeah. switch this around. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what Because that's what I do with natural yeah. braids. I get yeah. it braided and put it up in a ponytail. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Now, what about you, Sam? Well, see, now, this used to be one of my foxy cuts, you know, wigs that I thought. You know, I used to love this thing, but I don't think she loves me anymore. I don't know. She's looking kind of... Look how rusty I think. Don't you think she look kind of rusty? She's been. She's I had these little TLC. Yeah, I put her away. She's been in a bag for about two or three, she about three, four oil. years. Really, so. Yeah, so I think she needs a little tender loving care, but you know, oh, I didn't want to get rid of her quite right yet. Cute. Now Thank your you. hair was always long, you know, pretty most much. Of your hair, most of your life. How did you feel when you first put on a shorter wig? Actually, I liked it. I mean, I had to get a lot of opinions. I had to get comfortable with it because it was new. It was right. new. But I really wanted to see how I looked in short hair because one day I said, well, I may cut my hair short, but I wanted to test it first. So a wig was a great way to do it. This is probably this is the, one of the shortest wigs I've had. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, just like you, now this one is very short for me. I had something like this a few years ago. 
when I talked about earlier in the earlier segment that I really it should complement the size and the shape of your face. And my face has gotten wider because I've gotten bigger and I think bigger hair fits better. I like it on I, do I, too. I, I, I think it's like this, but I don't get the compliments with this. And I really don't think it's just used fit. to the big hair. Exactly. That's cute to me. But I, I want something that fits my whole body. Mm -hmm. but, you know, and just so it's a whole it's all proportioned. Uh -huh. It's all about proportion for me. Mm -hmm. And so I'll wear this again. I'm, that's why I kept it. Yeah. Because I've, I, it's been about a year, almost a year since I bought it. Mm -hmm. And I wore it for maybe a couple of months and I said, okay, this really isn't fitting me as well. Let me go back to my old standard. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. But I, I like the freedom of it. And there's something synthetic. different. Synthetic. Synthetic. Mm -hmm. synthetic. I love it. And you just brush it and go. Yeah. Now, the other the other kind of wig that you can have, and we'll now Mr. Cameraman, if you can get tight in. Most of these wigs oh, yeah. have the comb. Yeah. We were talking about we had fears of people knocking our hair off mm -hmm. on the metro and in church. You have a comb and then you have an elastic adjustable band mm -hmm. that right. you move around yourself to make it tighter. Because after you've worn it for a while, of course, it's going to get a little loose. Mm -hmm. So you can actually adjust it. So you normally have a comb in the back and you normally have a comb up front and some wigs have the comb on the side, just around the temples. Okay. Because some people don't want anything right on their hairline. And you do have to be careful with the combs. It's like anything. It could break your hair off if you're not careful. Right, you have to be very yeah, careful. Yeah, you need to that. condition it and all that. Yeah. So, and then you have all the different kinds of netting. Uh -huh. Because this is nice. And, and I can wear yeah. it in the summertime. A lot of women can't do it. And I think yeah. that's one of the differences between the wigs that they make now versus the ones they may have made 30 or 40 years yeah. ago. Yeah. The netting was so thick yeah. and heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just could Wear. Yeah, I know. You just couldn't <laughs> wear it in the summertime or anything because yeah. you just sweat too much. Yeah. But these allow air to get through. Yeah. They're cool. Yeah. yeah. You can so, actually scratch your own head. Yeah. Yes. Right. So the right. whole yeah, you're not scratching the whole wig. The hair is exactly. moving around. Exactly. Now this is called a half wig because of the way it's designed. And normally what people will do, and I've worn this, and you'll you'll see a picture up where I'm wearing this wig. And my own hair is out in the front and it just kind of blends in, which I talked about before. But it's not meant for you to wear this right at your hairline. Right, yeah. It's meant to be about here. Yeah. And then you pull your own hair out and just style right. along with the hair. And I, I loved it because I, I did an exercise video in this hair. Oh. And I, I don't remember her name but <laughs> I mean, of the wig, but it's oh. really cute. It's really cute. And it keeps... It keeps a pretty good curl and it's been in the bag for a while too. Uh -huh. But you have all different kinds. So you got the lace front and I'm going to show you that as well. I just bought this one recently and I'm, I was so disappointed. I talked about earlier coloring them. When I tried it on, it was it was almost a blonde and I thought it was so pretty. It had a lot of blonde streaks. But when I, that was on the head. But when I actually got it fresh in a bag, it only had a couple of little streaks. Mm. So I got my trusty color, mm. but then this kind of style really doesn't fit me either because it's, again, it's too flat on my face. And my, it's just all face and just a little bit of hair. Ooh. And that just didn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I'm, I'm gonna hold on to it unless you want it or something. I was just thinking. Okay, you can, <laughs> I'm sure. Try. Now this is lace front. This is one. These. This is the newest thing now. And I don't know if you can pick this up, but it has this lace here. So and you can cut it. it it'll hurt you if you don't. But you can cut this to where it feels more comfortable. Mm. And what it does is you now cannot tell your hairline in this in the hair on the wig okay. where it starts and where's yours start and it's so cool because it just looks like it's coming right out of your head mm. so i love the lace front that is one of the best things about that then you, aren't they usually they're kind of expensive though aren't they yeah they're expensive? a little bit more expensive yeah. i think because i think this one was like in the 50s or something well that's not too bad yeah, i've seen them good. over a hundred dollars oh, oh yeah 150 yeah. yeah but this got it the lace like front what kind of hair you're getting you know okay. yeah because i've seen i'm cheap i told y'all i'm cheap when it comes yeah. to, that's right i think i spent like 40 45 i think is the most i've spent for wigs yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. we're asking you, go out and, and try different things. If you want something different, like an accessory, want a new look, want to look like Beyonce, or you look like Janet wearing something short, go out and get a wig. It's fun. It is. Try it's fun. Or oh, go and give you a break. And you may see us in there buying them, too. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll see you next time, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> the website, don't y'all? Uh, you they can contact us. Yeah. At um, life matters. Life matters. At gmail dot com. <laughs> yeah. That's two S's on matters. 
That's right. And we'll see you next time. Having so much fun, I forgot the website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the email. Emailing us. Yes. yes.